Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to talk about how reminders just got better. Up until this current release, if we added a new reminder, it went on a list. It didn't matter what day you created it. It didn't matter anything. It just went on a list. Now it could go on the total reminder list or it could be broken down into specific things that you sort by. Like I have a whole list for eat, eating out and a whole list for making wishes and you know so you have you had that ability but you didn't have until this release the ability to put it on the date sorry I've got the hiccups to put it on the date that it happened you could add the date to your list but you couldn't put what was happened that day on the date. We can do that now. I should, <laughs> all that to say we can do that now. Now it is an option that has to be turned on and it is an either or thing. If you put something, if you time stamp it and put it on your calendar on the day it happened, it's not going to show up on your list. So you have to consider that unless, I mean you could do two different reminders, one that has the timestamp alert and the other that doesn't. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. But first, let me show you how to toggle on and off the events. If, I mean, the reminders, I keep saying events. If you go to the Z and under calendar, if calendar is not enabled, you're not going to see what you need to. So you need to turn that on. And now you want to go to configure events. And I know that I have to show events, even though I don't want to. See, if I don't know if you noticed, but on Tuesday I had a couple of events. Um, you know, but, but I choose not to, to show my events. And, but I do have to turn it on long enough to make some of the settings for my reminders. Example, right now, under week, all my reminders are a list. If I changed it to full, then suddenly all of my reminders kind of go relative to the shape, to the time of day it happened. So things are all spread out. But if, um, and you might like that. I personally like the list better, so I change it back to list instead of full. And, you know, I have the option to make other changes here um, that affect the reminders, even though they're under events. So once I get that set, I'm going to turn off show events. And down at the bottom, two up from the bottom, dated reminders on calendar see and see what happens watch my my list over on the left i put that there so you would be able to see this normally you might not have that list over there but uh let's see if i toggle it off everything moves from the dated calendar to the list the way it was before now the reason all those things are red is because they're tagged as overdue. I See, I've got that tagged on. If I turn that off, then they're not red anymore. I kind of like having that red color. And really and truly, as soon as you create that, that reminder, it pretty much goes out of date immediately. So they're always going to be the, the new color um, or the different color. So that's how you would change that. If you want it all to be the same, you can you don't you don't have to all right let me see if i go back out now and i'm done and the reason i love that feature it's an awesome feature because um if i go out of town like i'm i'm out of town right now i could have theoretically left my ipad at home and never needed it and still been able to populate it using my 
reminders. If if I had to have, you know, like I like all those cute little icons and the pretty little drawings and, you know, I like, I like to add things to my days and I still have that option. I can go back home and do that later, but I don't have to have the iPad with me on a trip and I can still say every single thing that I wanted to put on that day. I can do it without my iPad with me and it will, when I get home, it'll be perfectly populated. Everything will be exactly way, the way I wanted it. So that's one reason I love it. The second reason and probably more important is that no matter, you guys know that I do a new calendar every, God, every other day probably. I, I, <laughs> I have a bunch of calendars and because he keeps coming up with new ideas and people keep having new layouts and I want to test those and, you know, so I have p bits and pieces of things everywhere. Well, now with, with reminders, they're on every single calendar that I have for that day. See, watch, if I change it to this calendar, everything that I put as a reminder is on here. Now, you know, most of this stuff is nonsense, but um, because I was testing and seeing and working and, you know, but see, I even have a Amazon order. I ordered some NFC stickers today. And... I, I've got that on there as a reminder. So now if I go to this calendar, that's still going to be on my list. Of course, this is not this week. This is, see, there's my today. It's highlighted that one. And um, see, there's my order for Amazon right there. So, it doesn't matter what calendar I pick up, that it's always going to be right. <laughs> I can throw away one and still have it populated. Oh, that's worth everything to me. And the reason that's so important to me is just last week, I had to toss a whole journal away because it had gotten so large that it was crashing on me and everything that was in it was lost because I didn't use reminders to do this. Now, if they had been full of reminders, I wouldn't have lost a thing. I was just lost the binder, but I mean the planner, but because it was strictly me entering manually each day, what I did that day or, you know, did it manually, it's gone. Everything I did is gone because I had to delete it. But with reminders, I still have everything. All right? That's why that's important. Okay, so now I'm sitting on my iPad and I'm wanting to add a new reminder. All I have to do is have the selection menu, pull down, under events, do add reminder, and I can type in... I'm just going to click these words up at the top. Um, and I can go ahead and type in the actual date and time if I want to. If I want to show the date and time that I created it, which is a good idea because a year from now you'll want to know that's something that can be deleted. Uh, so this is 10 slash 22 slash 21 space space and 3. No, let's put it at 11.36. And I'm, that's as far as I want to go. Now, I want to change this to eat so that it'll show up on my calendar when we get back. And I do save. Now, see over on the left, the oh, wow, that's and the date. It, it wasn't timestamped. The date is on it, but it was not timestamped. If I want it to be timestamped, if I click on the um, thing and edit it, 
Then what I would need to do is click on the remind me. And now it's got the date and time. Now I'm going to change the time to, uh, let's see, 1137. Maybe I'll put it at 1145 and it'll stay black. If I do save, save, see it stayed black because it's not out of date yet. Or it's not overdue, I should say. So it jumped from my list down to my today, what I did today. Perfect. So that's the difference whether you turn on the alert or not. Now, if I wanted it in both places, I could go ahead and make two different occurrences. You know, I could go back and add another, uh, whatever, oh wow, that's, and put the date and just turn the alert off. That's up to you, okay? I think I've covered everything, you know. I hope I did. Anyway, y'all have a great day here. Bye.